So electron mobility is uh, one of the key issues today in uh, the field of transport and energy because the aim is to replace part of the oil um, motors by electric motors and by uh, using batteries, electric vehicle, to uh, move people. By doing so, there is today, let's say, more than half a million cars which are running in Europe and these uh, half million cars are also providing potential resources for the electrical grids like uh, helping uh, renewables to be balanced, uh, like helping distribution grids to be uh, more efficient. But of course, there are not only good things with electric cars, there is also things that need to be fixed. On the list of things that need to be fixed, there is three main problems. The first one is the fact that we need more cooperation between DSOs, TSOs, energy field, and automakers and charging point uh, makers. Uh, all this uh, ecosystem needs to be organized in such a way that providing flexibility to the grid will be organized smoothly. The second big problem is how high city will merge both automotive industry and electricity industry using the good standards and the good protocols. The last point is, of course, that if you don't manage efficiently these new storage capacities, there could be a risk for the distribution and the transmission grids if they are not well used in terms of capacity requirements they ask from the grid. So the road forward is or very nice if everyone can find an easy solution and an easy coordination, or on the opposite, it could be a very conflicting areas in which nobody knows what will be the end of the story. My session was about competition around electric vehicles. Now, competition for the vehicles themselves, that's a no-brainer. Unless Tesla takes the whole market, we will have competition. Then, who supplies electricity to the vehicles? That's the retailers. Again, we already have competition. But in between the retailers and the cars, we will have a new type of infrastructure we call electric vehicle charging infrastructure. And there, we need to discuss how competitive it will be, who can participate in the market, and what's the business model. For distribution system operators, DSOs, the integration of electric mobility um, poses different challenges. First of all, it's a new load, maybe a massive load and the additional load in the future that has be, to be accommodated. That's on all voltage levels. And then, um, in particular, on low voltage, it's a higher degree of simultaneity cars will most probably be charged at the same time. The solution to this is to use flexibility. Flexibility products can integrate electric mobility and uh, the allocation of flexibility between different uses, between market uses, system uses, own use and distribution systems has to be done on a market-based um, system. It should not be done through an administrative decision. And finally, in order to enable the DSO to use uh, flexibility products, um, uh, all uh, EV charging infrastructure should be ready for flexibility, that it, it should have a, uh, an information uh, link and it should have a control link so that it can be controlled, even if the decision whether it is really controlled for DSO purposes is left to market forces and market decisions. Um, today I presented on behalf of Euroelectric, the association representing electric utilities uh, in Europe. Our view of electromobility is that electromobility is going to happen. The question of what impact that will have on, on, the, on, the, on the European grid is of course an issue for us and for our members. Well basically the electric grid in Europe can cope. It is not seen as an insurmountable problem. In fact, it is viewed that at generation and transmission level, there's unlikely to be any significant issue at all. There will be issues at distribution level. Those issues can be managed with smart charging in the main. However, the regulatory systems that we have today encourage the grid operators, the DSOs, to solve any problems that may arise by investing in putting more copper in the ground. What needs to change 
is that the utilities need to be incentivized to look for smart charging solutions. That will be the cheapest and the best solution for everybody. Welcome to Florence. Florence is uh, the town with, in Italy with the main number of uh, station charging points for electric cars. In Florence there are 173 station, uh, public station. Florence municipality uh, realize, uh, take the funding from local municipality, uh, regional and uh, European commissions. Uh, it's just uh, the first step because we have to improve the net with uh, private uh, stations uh, that uh, can uh, create uh, an ecosystem of uh, stations, so public station and private stations, to improve uh, the net. We have still other projects. At the moment, the stations that are in Florence um, uh, have two, two types of sockets, uh, Meneches and Scame. Uh, but mm, so three kilowatt and twenty two kilowatts. Uh, but we have to improve the net with uh, other sockets uh, with uh, forty three uh, kilowatt uh, and fifty kilowatt. Florence is also the town with the main number of electric vehicles in Italy, because lots of uh, sockets means uh, more electric vehicle. Everything is not perfect, of course, lots of thing, things uh, to improve. Uh, I think that today um, there are, uh, I got many inputs. Um, I would actually try to sum them up into two. So one uh, is uh, a key word actually, the ecosystem of technology. I think that this really summarizes uh, what we are talking about. So there is uh, um, a complexity in uh, electromobility that can be really linked to many different elements uh, within the same value chain. Throughout the day, we've been talking a lot about the difficulty of uh, getting the system started, so of having electromobility started. And this, uh, um, drove, uh, this drove me to, to think about a quote that I got in another workshop, but I think fits uh, really well in this context as well. That is, if you plan cities for cars and traffic, you get cars and traffic. If you plan a city for citizens and people, you get citizens and people. And this is actually the very same for electromobility. So if you include electromobility and the possibility for electromobility to develop into the urban planning, you will eventually get there. So if our goal is really to um, enforce and improve the use of electromobility, electric vehicles, but also electric bikes, electric buses. You have to include them in our planning. Uh, it was fantastic because energy transition is absolutely not a question of energy. It's a question of life. Uh, how will you walk? Will you use your bike? Will you use a car? Is the car something you own or something you call with a phone? And the car is coming to you. That's a, to discuss this, we need transport, we need energy together. We even have to forget that we are transport of energy. And that's what we did today, and we will do it every year, because transformation of transport is so big that, that, that we need to look at it more closely. That, that's the end of the day.